I've been flying the DJI Mini 2 for one year now and I'm gonna share with you four important things that most of YouTubers don't talk about. This is Morgan Frank, Riot's close friend. And if you're looking for drone tutorials and filming tips and tools, you are in the right place. I remember Riot once said that flying the DJI Mini 2 with only one battery is more than enough. That's right, you heard him. You don't really need the fly more combo if you're planning your shots. That video was planned. It took me only 10 minutes to take those shots, which is around half battery from the DJI Mini 2. So basically what I do before I go shoot is I try to search the place that I'm gonna shoot in. I try to see my surroundings, I'm trying to see if there's mountains, if there's interference, if there's buildings, where the sun is gonna be, so I can plan my shots beforehand. That saves a lot of time when it comes to shooting with your drone. And if you do it right, you don't really need more than one battery. If you're tight on money and you're on a budget and you wanna save, go ahead and do it. Don't feel bad about not getting the fly more combo. That's not gonna change anything from the experience that you're gonna get from the DJI Mini 2. I recommend that you save your money and get the single battery pack and later on you can use that money to get ND filters which is gonna help you get really really cool shots. I think two batteries is gonna be more than enough so you can later on get one extra battery and you're good to go. Okay, so the DJI Mini 2 is a pretty small drone and that makes it vulnerable because it looks like an easy target for birds. So that's why every time I'm flying this thing, I'm stressed out about birds attacking it. Especially if you live in East Asia like me, we have a lot of birds here. A simple way to survive a bird attack is to put your drone in sport mode and fly upwards as fast as you can. Birds, for a fact, cannot fly upwards. They can only ascend in circles. So doing this trick will give you an advantage to fly your drone somewhere safe and land it. Trust me, this trick always works for me and I feel like it's not popular enough. So that's why I wanted to talk about it and put it out there. So I went to edit the shots, but it turned out to be a little bit grainy. That's not because of me, that's because of the weather was so bad. There was a lot of fine dust. So look at this picture that my friend posted yesterday. The fine dust was crazy, so that's why the footage looks a little bit foggy. But yeah, I waited for two days for the weather to get better, but it's not getting better. Right now it's just like raining and snowing all over the country. We have to go film the footage anyways. A year ago, before I buy the DJI Mini 2, I had the Mavic Mini 1 and I crashed it in this river trying to go under the bridge. I'll tell you why. Okay, so the Mavic Mini 1 was so easy to fly and it gives you the confidence to fly under bridges or go through objects. The DJI Mini 2 is even easier to fly and gives you that confidence that you will never crash it. So you have to be careful from that. No idea why the audio shut off, but story short, I was trying to fly the drone under the bridge and there was seaweed strips and fishing strings dandling under the bridge. I couldn't see them from far and definitely they were not visible from the drone camera. The motors got stuck and I lost the drone in the river forever. So what we can learn from the story is you have to be confident but don't be too confident with the DJI Mini 2. If you fly through objects like holes, trees or bridges, get closer first, take a look if there's anything you can't see from far or through the drone camera. Make sure it's safe and clean for you to do that trick shot and then do it. This drone will make you feel invincible but trust me, it happens when you least expect it. Should we go this way or should we go up there? Hell no, I'm going this way. Ooh. I'm getting old. Guess my age in the comment down below. And if you know my age, don't give it away. Whew, the camera bag is so heavy. Okay, the DJI Mini is a beginner drone and a lot of people buy this drone to step up their video game. Anything shot from the sky becomes 10 times more beautiful and 10 times more inspiring. I get that. But I did a big mistake, which is when I start introducing drone shots in my videos, I start loving my videos and I start thinking my videos are so cool. And that killed my creativity. Try to use the DJI Mini as a complimentary gadget. Something that adds to your videos 
but not something that becomes your videos. So if you're doing video work, focus more on getting nice shots with your camera or with your phone. That will bring your videos to the next level because people will get bored after one or two videos watching again and again drone footage. So what you can do is focus more on crafting a story and make that drone footage bring the story to life. Speaking of creativity, this video right here will show you exactly how I use the DJI Mini 2 to recreate a viral TikTok video.